Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube video here with Chill With Cars. This is basically just a couple of days after the road trip and I am still tired. <laughs> Absolutely knackered out. Um, haven't even taken the time to wash the car, clean out the car, nothing. It's just been sleeping and resting and that's really it. The reason why, though, today I want to uh, make a video before I go to the hospital and all of that is to follow up on the um, Heritage Program video that I filmed uh, like a month ago. And I've gotten a lot of questions uh, from people on why the Heritage Programs don't work and... Uh, I decided to investigate a little bit more, and you are absolutely right. Every page now, for some reason, gives you a 404 error, doesn't exist. Which is crazy to me. Uh, simply tells us that I'm right. Uh, we as enthusiasts, we really need to start 3D printing and 3D scanning any parts that we will be needing in the future because if we don't it's going to be too late the only pages that actually work and kind of gives you like the information that you as an enthusiast would be looking for i would have to say is porsche and not a lot else uh mugen for honda luckily has somewhat of a halfway understandable page you're probably looking at it right now and you see that i am going through like the uh, main pages and everything i have to change it uh, if i haven't already to view in english and still the information is practically non-existent uh, you find some old archived models but you don't, for example, find mine. You don't find the DZ2 in there. You find the DC5 of Integras. You don't find the Accord Type R for Europe, but you find the Euro R in there. Uh, luckily for my friend Blazer, uh, the ZRZ is there with all four iterations. So he's lucky in terms of Mugen parts. But wow, it really is lacking. And probably the biggest shock of all is that I could not find Nismo's heritage program anymore. Um, when you search it, as you will see in this video, there is nothing pertaining to heritage on the page anymore. Um, meaning the question, did they stop? It's very unlikely to me that the enthusiasts of the R32 community of GTRs just suddenly didn't need parts anymore. That is ludicrous to me and makes no sense at all. If if I were Nismo, I would expand on it to make sure that the iconic models that people know and love that much and is so popular would have parts available for a long time coming. Or at least until this stupid rule of 2030 or 35 where no other gasoline engines uh, or cars will be sold um, or let's just say internal combustion engines as of right now though there are companies looking into fixing this also Porsche Koenigsegg as well <clears throat> and we have others but that's not the topic of today's video now is it the biggest issue we have here is that none of the heritage uh, pages actually has any information or simply as you can see on the screen they do not exist <laughs> which is crazy and really proves like really thoroughly proves that this is something that every single enthusiast needs to take seriously every single one of us that owns a car that we know is difficult to find parts for already today but luckily some of us are able to find them we really need to start 3d scanning and i was looking how to find like a proper machine for that or like any tool that would make it easy for like the enthusiast to do this and um, 
Yeah, I found one. Weirdly enough, after having talked about it, a huge ad appeared on my YouTube lists all the time, just simply telling me that they would um, that they would actually just 3D scan parts. And I looked at like the prices of these tools and they are high, like they are thoroughly high. You do not buy these as an individual uh, normal enthusiast like you and me, unless you're an enthusiast with a lot of money, that would make it worth it. Now, what do we do then? Well, right now we can't do anything, uh, well, unless we have the cash. But for companies, this is a do or die moment, if you ask me. If you want to be the leading company in terms of car parts, you only need to get a 3D scanner and a 3D printer. And put in the work, of course, into making every part smooth and, and look like the original part or the aftermarket part. Now, there will be copyrights in play here and all of that, but it's really not that big of a deal. Why would I say that? Because you can make slight alterations or make it in a different type of, of material from what I've heard and what I've kind of found to be different enough to not like infringe on copyright. Not in the way that most companies would try to have you stop production or seize uh, production of a part. Also, a lot of the companies that used to make these, um, at least aftermarket parts and such, don't even exist anymore. So, who are you fighting? Nobody at this point, you know? Um, which is good, but also bad, because they knew how to make those parts and make them fit. But that's why we 3D scan now, isn't it? If we do this and find someone that is willing to actually do that and then, of course, make it affordable, like there's no point in in being a company choosing to be a douchebag because you know everybody needs it and then just throw the prices sky high, then you've missed the point. But... It's a huge opportunity for a proper company. I know of one. Um, I hope, I really hope that they see this and also that they see what type of a possibility that would be and that they then just reach out to every single client that they've ever had and literally ask them to come visit so that they can scan the whole car, every single part, like we're talking simply taking the car apart <laughs> and putting it back together just to create the scan so they can create the mold so they can provide any part, and I mean any part, on demand. Of course, it's not going to be cheap. Let's not like be delusional here. But if we do this and a company actually takes this into account they will earn tremendous amounts of money because we need the parts. I do, you do. Every single legendary car will need this in the future. And not doing this would be crazy. Let me know what you think about it because I think it's very important. I think it's very necessary that we do this. So let me know. How difficult has it been to find parts for your car recently? Which parts would you like to be able to have? And if you know people who have very rare parts in mint condition, would you try to convince them to get them 3D scanned? At least for their own sake, because that's how they know their car, you know? You could argue, oh, but it'll dilute all of our uh, exclusivity and all of that stuff, right? Sure, kind of. 
but it still should provide so much to choose from that we have the luxury of being individualists anyway. That's kind of the point. So that's really all I want to talk about in this video. Uh, sorry, no cinematics this time, no nothing, just my boring face and what you saw on the uh, video in terms of me not finding anything, which should be a huge concern for each and every one of us. Like this is a huge concern because nobody can get a hold of these parts anymore. And trust me when I say, the second you call your manufacturer and they say that's a discontinued article and panic sets in, then this suddenly is a very good idea. If it's on your car, it should get 3D scanned while we still can do it, all right? So I'll try to find the right people to be able to get a scanner because if nobody else will do it, Someone's going to have to, hopefully, we'll get this done in the future. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Please show this to anyone else that this is important too. And of course, hit the notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. That might be um, within a couple of weeks uh, based on the treatment. Thank you for all of your well wishes as well. Um, I really do appreciate it. And of course, I'll miss you uh, a lot. I'll miss driving the car extremely much. And of course, um, I hope to get well as, as soon as possible. And yeah, thank you. And I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully, I won't be like completely ravagedly <laughs> bald. But yeah, get a good look at this freaking hair, which is practically everywhere at this moment, because probably next time it'll be gone. All right, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.